hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we're back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to why muslims want to convert non-muslims to islam now i feel i feel like regardless of whatever religion you belong to you are always going to try to um what's the word to save people and um bring them over to your religion so for example christian evangelists what they like to do is go out and you know spread the gospel speak to people try to convert them or try to bring them to christianity um what, what are these people called jehovah witnesses people they go door to door talking to people trying to spread the gospel and so on and so forth so i personally feel like regardless of whatever religion you've you, everyone feels a sense of obligation that's the word a sense of obligation to teach you know or in the islam term to give dawah you know give dawah speak to people try to teach them about your religion because you believe that it is the true word of god you know and you believe that it is the true religion so why not why not go out and try to get people over so yeah let's get straight into today's video and see what it has to say, I guess. Do we have any non-Muslims on any of the mics of the sisters? Okay, we have one in the right-hand side. Go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum ji. I am a Hindu. Amuta Ramesh. Uh, I am a diploma engineering. Uh, sorry to asking this question. Hindu believes their religion. Muslim believes their religion, but when both are meeting, Hindu will not trying to convert in Hindu. But the Muslims, why do they are trying to convert in Muslims? Sister, if I understood your question correctly, when Hindus meet Muslim, they don't try and convert the Muslims to Hinduism, correct? Yeah. But when the Muslims meet the Hindus, they try and convert the Hindus to Muslim. Correct? Correct. Sister, it is like giving an example. There is a student who goes to school. Maybe he's in the 7th standard or 8th standard. There's another student who goes to postgraduate college. Postgraduate college. Maybe he's doing his master's. Now when they meet, will the school student try and teach the postgraduate or the postgraduate will teach the school student? <laughs> Sister, yes. will, will the school going student teach the postgraduate student or the postgraduate student will teach the school going student? Sister, I asked you a simple question, not a difficult question. Sister, have you understood my question? Yeah, yeah. So will a student going to school, will teach a student going to a senior college, postgraduate college? Or no. will a student going to postgraduate college, will teach a student going to the school? Postgraduate only. Correct. So in comparison, when the Muslims, what we believe, we are postgraduates. So when we meet our younger brother who are in school, it's our duty to share knowledge. We don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be selfish. You know, those who are selfish, yeah, the person should not be a graduate. You know, let him suffer. Let him be in school only. If he comes to college, postgraduate, he may take my job away. Those are selfish people. We, mashallah, we are selfless. It's our duty to spread the message of truth. So when we meet a non-Muslim, whether Hindu, whether Christian, whether Buddhist, we tell Ta'ala Vila Kalmitum Savaim Baina Bainakum. Come to common terms and we try and educate them. We don't want to degrade them. We try and educate them so that they can become a postgraduate. And both of us will get a good job. The good job is going to Jannah. So we don't alone want to go to Jannah. We want to take our brothers and sisters to Jannah. Sister, do you want to go to Jannah? Do you want to go to paradise? Jinnah. Do you want to go to paradise? No. Do you want to go to paradise, yes or no? 
I want to go to heaven only. Heaven, yes. He another name for heaven is paradise. There are some rules and regulations to go to heaven. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, according to the Hindu scriptures, according to the Quran, according to the Bible, if you want to go to heaven, you have to believe there is one God. You have to believe he has got no images, he has got no photograph, he has got no idols. Sister, do you believe in one God? Yeah, I believe Hindu only. You believe in Hindu God? Do you believe that God has got idols? No, God is not idol. So do you believe in idol worship? Idol worship, I am believing also. You believe in idol worship? Yes. So if God doesn't have idol, why are you worshipping the idol? Aren't you going against your Hindu scriptures? Your Hindu scripture says in Sveta Sveta Upanishad, chapter 4, verse number 19, and Yajurubhai, chapter 32, verse number 3, Na Tasrapati Ma Asti, of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no statue, there is no sculpture, there is no idol. So do you want to follow your Hindu scriptures or you don't want to follow your Hindu scriptures? No, I want to follow my culture only, Hindu only. Culture, not your religion. My religion is Hindu only, I want to follow. But your Hindu religion is based on Vedas. Have you read the Vedas, sister? No. Isn't your duty you have to read the Vedas? When will you read it? Tomorrow? <laughs> or tonight? I don't know. I will try. I, I request you, sister, read the Vedas tonight. No, Tom but... No, but why you can't read it tonight? You can read at night, sister. No problem. Veda and Quran, you can read day, you can read night. No problem. My request to you, sister, go home. Go on the internet. Type the references I gave. Yajurve, chapter 32, verse number 3. Sveta Setaro Panisha, chapter 4, verse number 19. You know, in Kishan Ganj, I gave a talk in Kishan Ganj just two weeks back. And it was a three-day program. First day, it was a talk. Second day, open question and session only. Third day was talk and question. On second day, and the deadline in India is 10 o'clock on Supreme Court. But when 10 o'clock was over, one intellectual Hindu came and told, you know, Dr. Zakir, what are you trying to do? You're talking about communal harmony. What are you trying to convert and blah, 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 blah. I believe in... I only believe in Bhagavad Gita, I don't believe in Veda. I wanted to answer him, but the time was up. So I told him, when you come tomorrow, Inshallah, I will give you the first chance. The next day, when I gave him the first chance to ask the question, he said, full night, I did research. I phoned the scholars of Hinduism, the pundits, and I was shocked that they said that whatever you told, 100% was correct. In Hinduism, there is one God. Hindu scriptures speak about Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him. He said, I could not sleep the full night. So he made my job easier. So I'm requesting you, sister, that tonight you go home. If you don't have any pundit to ask, you can Google, you know. Shake Google, we say shake Google. A pundit Google, go there, type all the references, try and find out. And tomorrow you can come and ask the question again, sister. Inshallah. Thank you. Textbooks can be expensive. Oh, she seemed like such a lovely lady. But anyways. <sighs> I did not know Dr. Zaki Mike knew he knew. Like, how many religions that does this guy know? How many religions has he memorized? How many scriptures has he memorized? Like, it's so insane. It's honestly amazing. But, um, like you said, I genuinely think, you know, if you believe that your book, that your religion is 110% from God, with no doubt, you believe with everything that you have, you are going to try and talk to people and try to get them over to your religion because you believe that it is the right path. Muslims are not the only people that try to convert people to their religion. Christians do it. A lot of other religions, they do it as well. It's not just the Muslims. Yeah, so I just personally feel as if if you feel like your religion is the better religion, is the truth, you are 110% going to try and convert people. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but yeah, for me, the answer is pretty simple. Anybody would want to convert people or revert people. 
because they believe that their religion is the true religion and it is the righteous path simple i genuinely just feel as if when you do so you feel so happy you know when someone converts to a religion that you have introduced them to it's just nice you know it makes you feel good and there was a point that was made you know religion and culture clashing I feel like this is a huge problem in today's society. Religion and culture clash a lot. They really do. The only religion that... Uh, they do. All religions. All religions clash. All re religions. To, of course, it's not in every household or anything. But some people mix culture and religion just a bit too much. And I feel like that is very unhealthy. It's either you're following the culture route or you are following the religion route. It is very wrong to clash the both because that's when confusion comes in and it becomes unhealthy for you. But anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and please do not forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves. Bye.